The Gamex ACR CT Accreditation Phantom has been designed to examine a broad range of scanner parameters including positioning accuracy, CT number accuracy, slice width, low contrast resolution, high contrast resolution, CT number uniformity, image noise. The tool is a solid phantom made of Gamex's proprietary solid water material. There are four modules. Each one is 4 centimeters in depth and 20 centimeters in diameter. There are external alignment markings scribed and painted white on each module to allow centering of the phantom in the axial, coronal, and sagittal directions. There are also head, foot, and top markings on the phantom to assist with alignment. Module 1 is used to assess positioning, alignment, CT number accuracy, and slice thickness. For positioning, the module has 1 mm BBs embedded at the longitudinal center of the module with the outer surface of the BB at the phantom surface at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. To assess CT number accuracy, there are cylinders of different materials, bone equivalent, polyethylene, water equivalent, acrylic, and air. Slice thickness is evaluated using two ramps, which consist of a series of 0.5 millimeter wires arranged along the z-axis. Module 2 is used to assess low contrast resolution using a series of cylinders of different diameters, all at 0.6% contrast difference from background. Module 3 consists of a uniform tissue equivalent material to assess CT number uniformity. Two small BBs are included for use in assessing the accuracy of in-plane distance measurements. Module 4 is used to assess high contrast spatial resolution. It contains eight bar resolution patterns that represent four line pair per centimeter through 12 line pair per centimeter respectively. After the phantom is aligned and scanned, the next step is to import the DICOM formatted images into the software. This is done by selecting Import CT Images on the pull-down menu found under the File button, then browsing to the file with the target images. Thumbnails of the images will appear. Only four images are used for analysis. Therefore, four images must be chosen and arranged in the 4x4 matrix that is in the bottom left corner. The four images beside the empty matrix are a template to be followed in order to arrange the new images in the proper order. Once this is done, we are ready to display and inspect the four target images by clicking on the Image tab. Once the images are displayed and look satisfactory, then the analysis is performed by selecting Auto Test on the pull down menu under the Image button. In a couple of seconds, the test results appear. All the ROI selections are automatically positioned according to the ACR instructions, as well as linear measurements for spatial resolution and slice thickness. Various forms of user drawn ROIs are available via the buttons to the right of each image. Two reports are generated, one for modules 1 and 2 and one for modules 3 and 4. These reports are accessed by selecting module 1 tab or module 2 tab. This is the report for modules 1 and 2. Notice that the results are displayed numerically and graphically. The same is true for the report on Module 3 and 4. The results can also be exported to an external comma-separated file by selecting Export Data on the pull-down menu under Print Report. The data is reported in columns and new data is appended. This allows for easy graphical trending analysis after the file has been imported into an Excel spreadsheet.